Uh, this is Mark Tronson from the Australian Missionary News. I have here today Peter George, uh, Australian, South Australian fast bowler at the Australian Institute of Sports Cricket Unit in Brisbane at Allen Border Field. Now Peter, can you tell us something about your upbringing? Uh, yeah Mark, I um, grew up in Adelaide uh, in a well, my parents lived in uh, Flinders Park, just a western suburb, in uh, about halfway between the city and the beach. So it was uh, quite a good little spot there, across the road from the river, Torrens. And uh, I've got three older brothers, the youngest of, of uh, yeah, four boys, obviously. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it, I guess. Okay. Now uh, you have a sporty family. Uh, can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, mum and dad were both uh, PE teachers. Um, that's how they met actually at, at Teachers College. So um, yeah, we're obviously being four boys as well, we're always into a lot of sport and living across the road from the river, we're always down there kicking the footy or uh, playing front yard cricket and uh, it was always good fun. So um, yeah, my uh, oldest brother played a lot of footy with uh, the, local, the local club, played A grade footy there. And um, the next one down, Daniel, I actually played ice hockey and inline hockey for Australia. Wow. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a fair bit of talent he had with his hockey and um, and my next uh, brother, Ben, played uh, the footy with the same club that Simon, my oldest brother, played for as well. Okay. Now, um, uh, can you tell us something uh, just about your career to date in cricket? Uh, yeah, um, I guess I started playing cricket from very young with my brothers out in the front yard. Uh, and played in primary school. Um, then I first went uh, sort of proper cricket when I uh, played with uh, West Torrens, my district cricket side. I started with them in about under 13s. Um, and then once I was uh, 18, I got selected in the uh, South Australian under 19 squad. That's the about 30 player training squad sure. for that. Um, and that was. Uh, what year would that have been? 2003 maybe, uh, when I was about 18 I guess, and um, sure. we went on, I was lucky enough to make the, the state actual team to go away to Melbourne to play in the Under-19 Championships in Melbourne, and um, yeah, performed relatively well there. That was when I first started to get noticed from, I guess, uh, the Australian point of view. I got selected in an um, Australian Under-18 sort of training squad again, this time was for the following year was going to be the Under-19 World Cup yep. and so I was in a part of a training squad and we came up here to Brisbane a few times for a few training camps. Uh, the following season I was actually rookie contracted with the Redbacks, um, but I was still... Well, uh, now that's the South Australian cricket team. The South Australian cricket team, yeah, yes. the, the squad there, so yes. I was, had a rookie contract with them and um, still wasn't even playing eight in about the third shield match of the season. Yeah, so you've just gone exponentially up. Yeah, up so I guess once, and so since then, I, yeah, I, I debuted with the Redbacks in, uh, in the shield team and haven't missed it. Oh, I played, I played two games in a row, then was 12th man for two, and then I've played the rest first full time. And then the last Academy year, and then. and then this year, 2010, you were uh, selected to go up up to New Zealand with the Australian team should somebody be injured. That's right, I think uh, Ryan Harris had a little bit of a side yes. uh, niggle yes. and so they were um, a little bit concerned about that so they thought they'd get a backup so they uh, rang me up and sent me over which was quite exciting. Well it was! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, uh, what are some of the influences upon your life and uh, are you married? Yes I am married, I was about to say, uh, yeah um, I met Susie, my wife, uh, in, in school. Went to, we went to Temple Christian College in, uh, in Mile End, in just west of the city in Adelaide. Um, and yeah, we, uh, we were going out for about three years and just got married. Uh, we actually were on our way home from our honeymoon. Oh, we just landed at home. I got the phone call from Rod Marsh uh, telling me that I was selected to have a full contract with the Redbacks. So, um, and when we first started going out, Susie and I, uh, was when my Really, it was when my cricket career, I don't know if it's a coincidence or whether it uh, happened just to work it, like that, but it, that was it, it, really it, when it started to take it, off. It, so. it, it, uh, well, you see, that's what uh, a good wife does. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Uh, and the Bible <laughs> says something about that too, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does. Okay, now tell me uh, um, uh, some of the positives of your faith. 
Yeah, um, I guess, like I say, Susie's always been there and, and from the beginning I remember going to our first, my first under-19 state tryouts uh, back when Susie and I first going, started going out and I remember sitting down and praying just just about, you know, giving me the help, God helping me to, you know, perform at my best at, at that training session and just, we know that I can only do the best I can do and God has control of the rest and there's so much of that with cricket, with selection, there's so much that you can't control and just to know that God is there and he has my best interests in his heart and that, you know, it's not just, it's not just about cricket, I'm not expecting God to make me play for Australia or anything like that but I know that if I do my best God can do the rest which is a very uh, common sort of phrase. Um, it's a wonderful uh, uh, um, 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 attitude you have. Yeah, and so, like I say, I'm not expecting to play for Australia. I, I, ex I believe that God will, will place me where he wants me to be, and whether that is playing shield cricket for South Australia for many years to come, or if, if that doesn't even happen, or if it is God wants me to play for Australia, and, and I see it as my mission field almost to, to sure. be there and um, around the, the different players and coaches and and to and be a shining light and a witness yes. to the players there that wouldn't otherwise oh, have well, that sort of influence. Last year, um, when, uh, when we interviewed Greg Chappell here he, he, he in the same spot, uh, uh, he, he said on the interview that there were a number of fine Christian young men in the squad here at the Institute of Sport. And that, Peter, you are a fine example of that. <laughs> right. And this is Mark Tronson signing off from the, uh, 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 from the Australian Missionary News.